hay pool right at the top of the complex. This is one of my favourite lakes. There's loads of fish in here and it dispels all the, all the myths really that you need to fish a long pole. There's no point fishing 60 metres here. All the fish are right under your feet, right in between your two key nets. All I'm going to fish today is a top kit plus my short fourth and that should put me in touch with loads of fish. Let's see how we get on. Baits for today are really simple. I've got some four mils, some eight mil feed pellets. These are the fishery feed pellets. And also my hooker pellets. Nice, big, soft, eight mil ringers next generation pellets. All I've done with these, put them in a sandwich bag, added a load of water and left them to blow up for two hours or so. They go lovely and soft and everyone should sink with the weight of the hook. That's the bait sorted, let's have a quick look at the rigs. I've set up two rigs for today. The first one is pretty standard, it's slightly heavier than what I'd usually use for a sort of four foot depth. It's 0.6 Mick Wilkinson diamond float. Got a nice buoyant cane tip. It's on 018 mainline. And I've got a standard sort of shotting pattern. I've got a bulk number eight, and I've got Two number 10s just above a six inch hook length of 016 line. The hook is a 175, and that's a series, well, size two, which is about sort of a 16 14 size hook. The second rig that I've set up is much lighter. Now, I fished a session here a couple of weeks ago, and I was sure that a lighter rig would get me a few more bites, so I've set up a four number 10s midi carp grey. It's got a wire stem. Again, it's got quite a nice thick tip. It's on 018 line again. And it's shotted just with number 12 stops just down the line. And again, I've got that six inch hook length, the same hook, the same 016 line on it. Elastic on both rigs is 18 to 20 mid air. And for a bit of extra, I've got, a, I've got it on a pull bung as well, just to give it a bit of extra stick in the net if I need to. So there you go, two simple rigs. Can't wait to get fishing. I found that on this fish ref, you need to be feeding quite a few four mils to attract fish into the peg. It's okay feeding eight mils, but adding a few four mils is best. Now all I've done is added a bit of water to the cup. You need to just make sure those four mils sink by a bit of, bit of water, just coax the four mils, make sure they sink. Now I'm just going to put that in on the line I'm fishing. Look at, you know, really short line. Just with that short fourth added. The reason I'm potting in, I could throw bait in there, but by throwing bait in, one, you're spreading it over too wide an area. And when you're feeding such a small amount of bait, you know, that's not what you want to be doing. And two, on this fishery in particular, you throw any bait in, fish will rise up to the surface, you get line bites, problems, you, you're almost attracting too many fish into your peg. So congregating the fish on the bottom with the pot. Like I say, best bait, one of these 8mm next generation pellets. Really soft, fish in this fishery really love soft baits. What I'm going to do is roll it onto the hook. Gently ship it out and drop it in where I've just fed that bait. Let's see if we can catch one. Right, I've hooked a fish. All I like to do is just flick a couple of pellets in just on top, just to keep any fish there. Pretty happy. And this elastic, although it's soft, it quickly powers up, so you shouldn't need to. You shouldn't really need to use the pull pull. It's just a case of pulling the fish around to the side. And there's no rush with this style of fishing. You don't want to be splashing around for ages if you're only fishing close in as well. So you might as well take your time with the fish. Matches usually get one here with around probably a hundred pounds. So, you know, the size of fish that you're looking to catch, that's probably only 25, 30 fish. There you go. 
nice example of how you can catch plenty of fish on that short line. There's a couple of ways that I like to present a bait to the fish. First of all, is, you know, simply laying the rig out in a straight line, holding the float tight, and waiting for everything to settle. That's a great way of catching fish, but to be honest, when there's a lot of fish in your peg, you can foul up a few fish doing it because you can lay the line over the top of any feeding fish. What I like to do when there's a lot of fish in the area is hold the float out of the water, make sure everything's straight, so the hook bait's below the bulk, and everything's in a straight line, and then lower the hook bait down to the killing area, right on top of that feed that we've just potted in. That's a brilliant way of cutting out any line bites as the rig settles. One thing you definitely need to do when you're fishing so close is peg your keep nets out. Now you've got to make sure that there's enough room for the fish. All I've done is spread them along the bank and I use a bit of heavy pole elastic, pull them round, and just loop it over some, over some reeds. That means that there's plenty of room for the fish to swim in, but also your nets aren't going to be right on top of where you're feeding. Now listen, one really good bit of advice for this method have extra sections ready behind you. You're only fishing short, you hook a fish, it bolts off, it could be a match winner. Adding extra sections, following the fish out, win you a few bob. So keep the extra sections behind you all the time. You've fed a bit of bait, you're not getting the response that you want. Just to spark a bit of interest in the peg, maybe just get that extra few bites, just flick the odd pellet at the float. Just, just ones and twos, sometimes what it'll do is just create a little bit of surface activity, a bit of noise on the surface and also the sight of falling bait can just spark a few fish into having a feed. Quite often you'll get a bite just, just as the bait hits the surface or you know, as, you, as that pellet that you've just thrown in, there you go, there's a line bite there, shows that the fish has come straight to that. There you go, cracking their fish. We've just weighed them, £59. Pound. I've only fished for about three hours, two and a half, three hours worth of fishing. All on that short line, loads of cruisions, loads of big carp. Let's get them back. There you go. Shows the merit of that short line and what a fantastic venue.